I have become obsessed with mushrooms. They're so cool. Here's why. Did you know that we're more closely related to mushrooms than mushrooms are related to plants? Did you know that that thing you see on the forest floor, like this, is a small percentage of the mushroom itself? And did you know that this mushroom mycelium ties the whole underground world together? The trees can communicate with each other. It's like a giant tree internet. Before this, all I knew about mushrooms is that some look cool, some can make you crazy, and some can make you dead. But we came across an interesting opportunity to learn more in a faraway forest in Romania. But before venturing off to remote parts of Romania to meet the locals, we got PCR tests done in Cluj. And that's because as travelers, I think it's very important we don't drag our dirty feet around the world, especially in the places where the locals could be quite sensitive. The coronavirus pandemic has killed over a million people and has infected over 38 million. So when we travel, we wear our masks, we follow local regulations, we make sure we're being safe so others can stay safe too. So have a bigger perspective, a global perspective, knowing your actions affect others, people you might never actually meet. But if you're a traveler, you probably think that way already. Anyway, on with the show. This is Valareu and Liliana Bargan. They are part of what's called the Roma people. Over the next 24 hours, these two kindly invited myself, Eva, and two of our friends out to forage mushrooms and to stay in their home. Let's meet them. Avem, mergem după ciuperci, ajungem acasă, facem un șnițel de ciuperci, vă servim cu un șnițel de ciuperci. Noi așa știm și așa ni tradiția noastră. Deci la noi este o tradiție căutarea ciupercilor. Din bunici, părinți, noi așa ne-am pomenit și așa adunăm noi ciuperci. Deci ciupercile sunt foarte sănătoase. Cine știe și cunoaște ciuperca e un burete foarte comestibil și foarte bun și sănătos. Super! Foarte bine foarte ne simțim. Bine. În a doilea rând facem și sport. Condiție fizică nu e mai bună ca altă condiție fizică când te plimbi în pădure. E sănătos, plimbatul în pădure și e și frumos. Great then. It seems like fitness is just as important as the food. So let's start the adventure. Wow! As big as my hand. Yeah. Du-te cu lege că facem șnițel. <laughs> to make schnitzels. <sighs> Look at this thing. That's incredible. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know mushrooms yeah. could get this big. I've got one. Ah. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, we did. Wow. Super. <laughs> hey, Lily, these these ones? No. Also, no. I can find them. Just can't find the good ones. Forest floor. It's like an I spy game. Oops. You grab it, you twist the top off, and you bring it back to the basket. Let's go. Look at this. We've only been out here for 10 minutes, and we've already got this basket that's pretty much full. This one, not good either. Just realized I haven't introduced the crew yet. Leading the pack. Valareu. Da. Da. <laughs> With Max and Betty. Max and Betty. Also, we have the lovely Eva Zubek. Hello there. <laughs> and we can't forget Lily. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, as we trek to the forest. We've kind of broken up into two teams. I was in the back also. with Lily picking those giant umbrellas. And Valareus, Valareu has been in the front Valareus. with the also. two canine companions sniffing for truffles. I don't know if he's been successful or not. Kauta! Kauta, Max. Hey, Kauta, Max. From what I understand, Krauta means search, and since the dogs are here, they're sniffing for truffles. We saw the big ones, the big mushrooms that are above ground. Truffles are underground. 
part of the mycelium, the mushroom root network. And so dogs are necessary to find them because the human eye, we don't have extra vision. Dogs have their noses almost as good. No, 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 He doesn't know it, and therefore we do not take it. There's so many here in the forest. We're only picking a specific few that they know. Obviously, if you're eating mushrooms, you gotta be extra careful. So our two hosts are only picking the ones they know really well. But look, there are these stumps with these beautiful red ones. Almost as hard as wood. And so many other ones. It's incredible. No. Why? Because crazy. Hey. <laughs> if, you, if you eat these ones, you go crazy. Which is interesting, but not for us today. Take one? I can take one. No, don't take one. <laughs> Find any truffles? Not yet? All right. I have a big basket of mushrooms. I stay super. All right. There we go. The mushroom queen. What about me? How do I say mushroom queen? Regina Chipotle. Regina Chipotle. 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 <laughs> when you stop for a second and just look around, there's mushrooms everywhere. Look at this stump, for example. There's one, two, three, four, five different mushrooms there, and maybe two or three other species just around in the next few meters. It's crazy. And just to think that that's a small percentage of the actual fungus itself. Most of it's underground or in the stump, and that's a small little, basically, the berry of the, the fruit plant, if you want to think of it that way. It's crazy. It's a small little piece of a massive thing. We can't even see it. It's everywhere. There's fungus among us. Fungus among us. Everywhere. <laughs> so, this is how it works. The dogs run around. They start digging in one spot, and then we dig in that spot to find the truffle. We're using our fingers. Lily and Valer have the truffle shovels. Oh, wow, look at this. That's a truffle por chask. Pig truffle. Dog finds a truffle, dog gets a treat. Look at that haul. And the dog's like, I found some! <laughs> Amazing. A whole pocket full of black truffle. And depending on the season, that can be about 150 euro to about 400 euro a kilo. That's gold. We have found well, we have not found. I have, I have not found anything. <laughs> the dogs have <laughs> the, found. The dogs have found a larger truffle. And this smells insanely good. Amazing. It smells like the most decadent pasta you could ever have in your life. We get back in the car and head home to cook them. Right, we are back in the village to meet the whole family and we'll actually be sleeping here tonight and Lily's gonna prepare us a mushroom feast, which I'm very excited about. Buenos dias! <laughs> Look at this, so it is your famous schnitzel. Schnitzel, da chupet! 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 One, mushrooms come out of the basket. Step two, we have salt. Schnitzel, <laughs> schnitzel. da pui. Now, these parasol mushrooms we got today are literally as big as the pan itself. It's as big as a pizza. It's crazy. Before dinner, Lily's daughter wants to take us for a walk around town. There was a purpose for this journey. It was to get alfalfa for the rabbits. Wow. 
<laughs> what is that? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Look at you, man. Look at you. And we're back. The party's just getting started behind me, and as you can imagine, dinner is going to be mostly mushrooms. But it's also going to be chicken. And if you live in a place like this, you don't get chicken from the grocery store. You get it from your yard, uh, which means someone's got to kill a chicken. And tonight, the person's going to be me. Now, I understand this is a sensitive topic, so let's talk about it rationally for just a second. One of the greatest sins of our world, in my opinion, is us not respecting the meat we eat. Let me paint a picture for you, just briefly. We go to the grocery store, we buy potatoes, we buy cheese, and we buy chicken. We check out, we go home, we cook it all for dinner, and it's delicious. We don't think about where that chicken came from. We treat it like it's another vegetable we threw in our cart. Reality is, though, it was a life. And while we didn't take it, the life with our hands, we still paid for that to happen. Whether it's the blood on our own hands or somebody else's, it doesn't matter. In my opinion, to be a card-carrying meat eater, you need to be comfortable with the reality of what meat is. It's a life. And a life that comes from a place like this, where they live a free one and they get to peck at the worms in the ground and flap around, that's a great one. The people here respect the life. The chicken gets a good life and then they use everything. Because again, it is a life. You buy something at the grocery store, it comes from a shitty factory farm, we eat like one fine cut of it, the rest goes in the garbage, it's disrespected. For me, what's happening here tonight for our dinner to feed this family, to feed this party, is the best way to do it. I don't like killing anything, I don't like watching things get killed, but the reality is I've chosen to eat meat and I've chosen to face the reality of what's happening. That's something I feel everyone should do. Anyway, on that note, Let's get the dinner started. This is, this is Mario? Mario. Mario is going to be our chicken catcher. Yeah, ich mach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. How's that feel? Good? Yeah. Yeah, good? Good? Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right. Ich gebe was. Go for it. Come on, Daniel. Hi. Daniel, stay. That was hard. My hand was shaking, and the last thing I wanted to do was miss or only, you know, half. Yeah. And it was also weird with everybody watching. We're all going to eat this animal together. And I just want to make it very clear again that I don't enjoy doing this, but that's why I do it. The channel's about making yourself uncomfortable, making myself uncomfortable. And this is a ugly truth of what meat eating is. I think it's important to do it or at least witness it if you do choose to eat meat. Now we'll all enjoy the animal together, which is a beautiful thing. I'm so happy I'm here with this family and they've invited us into the house and we get to celebrate and, you know, exchange cultures. It's, it's why I travel. It still feels heavy. I don't feel good about it, but it's important. I'm happy I did it, even though it feels pretty shitty. Anyway, 
There's more to it than just what we saw. We've got to prepare it. And now everybody's inside, <laughs> waiting for me. So let's go. Let's go join them. We pluck the chicken together. Then Lily covers it in hand sanitizer and lights it on fire. Is that a coronavirus? I was confused. She was joking about corona, but it was actually to remove the last few feathers on the chicken. I think she's quite excited that we're enjoying her food. The chicken that was from the farm, the polenta, the mamalega, the corn, ground cornmeal, the mushrooms we caught today, everything very local within just a few kilometers of here, some of it a few meters, and it's absolutely delicious here. I'll prove it. See? Woo! Delicious. <laughs> Good morning, and uh, welcome to the master bedroom. Do, can you imagine having guests over and then you giving them your bedroom, the biggest bedroom in the house? Despite much resistance, it was inevitable. They wouldn't have it. <laughs> they wouldn't have any it. Any other way. Whoa, you okay? <laughs> Woo! Looks like the master bedroom <laughs> is also the trampoline park. Woo! Hi, good morning, good morning, buenas diva. Buenas diva, buenas diva. Oh, look at this coffee already. Unfortunately, I don't speak Romanian, but you want some coffee? Da. Da? That, that means yes, you're a kid. Do, you, do kids drink coffee? No. No, I didn't think so. Hey, it's coffee time. And there they are, the black nuggets of yesterday. Oh. Oh. Okay, after a giant breakfast, we're feeling full and getting ready for our next adventure. So we're saying goodbye and we're gonna get one big family photo together before we go. If we can wrangle them. There's a lot of them. Let's go. Okay. Three, two. Three, two, one, cheese! You are super. To super, you're, yes. You're, you super, super life. Super life. <laughs> All okay. right, goodbye. Bye. See Bye. you later, okay. Bye. <laughs> now, it's time for the surprise. It's a volcano. Goodbye. Bye. It's a volcano. Let's go find it. This is called Rakos Sleeping Volcano. It's a volcanic plug, a tower of magma, that was then mined for resources. Cool, right? Super, Michael, schnitzel. Schnitzel. <laughs> Lily and Valor were amazing hosts. It was so cool to meet the Roma people, go out and see them in their element, and get to taste some mushrooms as well. The adventures are not over. We're camping tonight. Eva solo camped last night, here by herself in the forest. There's a video about that. It's crazy. I'm solo camping tomorrow night. What do you mean? In an abandoned castle Without that I me? found. Without you. Again? No girls allowed. Next video on Fearless and Far, solo camping in an abandoned castle. Chase your fierce dragons and I'll see you in the next one. Don't miss it. <laughs>